the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 179, Isaiah 8 to 12. Assyrian Empire, God's tool of punishment. God, who declared that he would destroy Judah due to their sin, promised that he would prepare a highway of salvation after the day of wrath had passed. First point, God told Isaiah and Habakkuk to record his words on a scroll. God made Isaiah record the following message on a scroll in 8th century BC. The Lord said to me, Take a large scroll and write on it with an ordinary pen. Maher Shalal Hashubash. So I called in Uriah the priest and Zechariah, son of Jeberachiah, as reliable witnesses for me. Later in 6th century BC, God made Habak record God's message on a scroll for the Jews to read. The reference of Maher Shalal Hashubash and the reliable witness was a warning that Aram's capital Damascus and North Israel's capital Samaria would both fall soon. This soon becomes their reality. The king of Assyria complied by attacking Damascus and capturing it. He deported its inhabitants to Kerr and put resin to death. God furthermore told Isaiah that Assyria would hit Aram and North Israel and then attack South Judah. God then told Isaiah of the people who would fall and the people who would be saved. God told Isaiah to beware of the fool's prophets and that the fool's prophets would be punished. God was making a reference to the situation of South Judah. God rebuked the circumstances of South Judah for worshiping idols and also for relying on them. Second point, God told of the long future ahead as well as the immediate future through his prophets. In 8th century BC, God told his prophets of what was to happen to North Israel and how 800 years later the Messiah would come. God told Isaiah about the coming of the Messiah. This was fulfilled 800 years later. God furthermore told Isaiah of the rule of the Messiah. This was later connected by the prophet Daniel. As such, God told Isaiah about the long future ahead as well as the immediate reality for North Israel and South Judah. God first told him about the fall of North Israel. God then told him about the sins of North Israel, which was the reason behind their destruction. Thus, they were unable to avoid God's punishment. Despite God telling South Judah about Emmanuel, as well as the image of Mahashalal Hashbaz and the birth of the Messiah through Isaiah, the people did not listen and this made God burn in anger. Assyria was therefore to be used as God's tool. God is the living God who governs the world. Third point, Assyria was used as God's tool. God continued to outline the sins of the leaders of those Israel. The leaders did not care to remember the laws of Moses. God outlined their sins and then went on to talk about Assyria. Assyria was also very arrogant, as they did not know about God. Assyria did not govern the boundaries of the world. It was God. God spoke about Assyria's punishment that was to take place in the future. When the Lord has finished all his work against Mount Zion and Jerusalem, he will say, I will punish the king of Assyria for the willful pride of his heart and the haughty look in his eyes. God explained that Assyria would be used to punish South Judah, and then Assyria would become punished later. 
the punishment on Assyria began during the days of King Hezekiah. As such, God told Isaiah about the fall of Assyria as well as how South Judah would be taken as captive to Babylon and then would later return to Jerusalem. All this was fulfilled when the captives returned from Babylon after 70 years. This is what Cyrus, king of Persia, says, The Lord, the God of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he has appointed me to build a temple for him at Jerusalem in Judah. First point, Isaiah 11 verse 1 and Matthew 1 verse 1 are closely connected. Through Isaiah, God spoke of the Messiah from the household of David who would be born. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his lotus, a branch will bear fruit. This was fulfilled 800 years later. This is the genealogy of Jesus, the Messiah, the son of David, the son of Abraham. God explained how the Messiah would bring peace. God furthermore told Isaiah about the people who were to remain. This was based on the return of the first group of captives during the Babylonian Empire. During the second return, the gospel was to spread all throughout the nation. God ultimately explained the coming of the kingdom of God. Fifth point, Isaiah pre-sang the song of victory for South Judah. Isaiah praised God after hearing about the coming of the Messiah. Indeed, God had waited a long time for this to happen. Isaiah pre-sang the song of saints on behalf of the people of South Judah. Isaiah sang that God was full of mercy and grace and that the people of South Judah will soon be able to experience this. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.